Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where I have been informed in the comments by Mitchell Guinea that we actually get the contract back for the sat satellite launch and indeed that is the case we got that uh, so whew, uh, dodged a pro potential problem there uh, I was worried because it went away and we really really need it it is as far as I know the ultimate contract uh, there will be a cutscene and everything and so uh, that is the one that we need to accomplish uh, to get through this <laughs> finally and get to creative mode. Not not that it hasn't been pleasant or anything. Uh, and there is some replayability in terms of the, I guess, wood versus scrap people thing. Uh, but we'll, we'll try and finish up the wood stuff first before doing that. We know we have a rocket that can do the satellite launch already, right? I did that in the previous video. So let's finish up the this one and then proceed. Hopefully I'll get the cutscene and everything will go right. But yeah, let's... <laughs> uh, you never know, you never know what glitches may occur. We already had one that was a little bit worrying. So anyway, let me set the goal for this advertising stunt and we'll do it and we'll see how that the whole wood line goes. I mean, I think there is a steam achievement or something like that associated with it. Yeah, there's a wood-based uh, quest line, and so we'll try and finish that quest line, I suppose. And I suppose there's a scrap quest line as well. So there is minor replayability in this. Maybe not minor. There's actually multiple possible endings, I think, uh, in that we've got the option... Uh, uh, spoilers, <laughs> you know, spoilers. We're at the spoiler area. Everything everything is spoilers now. Um, uh, we have to give this guy 300,000 bucks, right, potentially, because he really, really needs it for whatever. And so that will potentially save him from having to do the deal with um, Starlink. Or we could get that engine. So we'll have a... We, we have a critical... Critical sort of situation where either we get the engine or we give him the money. And we apparently get the money from the museum revenue. Which is a shock, considering the state of the museum. <laughs> we haven't really looked at the museum lately, have we? Uh, they're, they're apparently making fun of modern art, I guess. Okay. So. So that is the situation. And I haven't decided yet what I might do if I get all the museum revenue. I have no idea. So, we need wood parts. And we're gonna make it look nice. I mean, we've got... Pretty powerful stuff. Um, we need to perform a looping, which I guess I'll do with the gimbal. It doesn't even say that we have to go very high. We just need to make sure all our structural parts are only from this category. Okay, so we have a swivel. Mm, the medium gas bottle seems to fit most nicely. We don't really need a pump, I don't think. Maybe we'll add some oxidizer. Not that that helps, but we have a lot of space. Compact engine might use the stuff too quickly. I think I'm gonna go with the converted jet engine down here. Hmm, it sort of pokes out though, so it's not gonna be able to stand properly. I'll shift everything up. And we'll have both fins below the gimbal. Okay, that's all hooked up. We need to make sure we can gimbal. Maybe I want a high steer speed since we're doing a loop, but let's go with that. Alright, let's build this. And good, alright. Oh, it's already smoking. Well, oh, we've got some lag. Okay. Loop, 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 loop. We did one loop. We're doing more loops. Yes! 10 loops! 11 loops! We didn't even finish using the converted jet engines. Anyway, we only needed one looping. It didn't matter how high we were. Okay. Corkscrew. Yeah. Fashionable. Tree. Progress. Progress. Purist. Alright. Okay.
Algae fuel. Uh, which answer do you prefer? Okay, um, let, let's assess the part situation here. Hold on a sec. Team Scrap has... Well, we've gotten ladders, but we had to buy those. But then we had to buy the wood parts, too. Mm. Which team has been more productive for us? I think... I mean, aside from the ladders... The ladders have been crucial, obviously. Um, but there's no question that the wood parts look better. But that might be because we haven't gone up the scrap ladder, if you will. Uh, so... We'll go with wood this time, and some other time, I might do a speed- I was thinking if I had failed this, you know, if there was a glitch that prevented me from doing the final mission, that I would speed run it. I might do a speed run with the scrap peoples, and ditch the wood peoples, but this time I'll do the wood peoples. Uh, that all sounds- anyway. Uh, okay, I guess it makes sense. Okay, uh, I'll ditch them forever. Uh, being wood-based is nice and all, but fuel ruins all of our efforts. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Fuel, horrible. Eco-fuel. Jet fuel extracted from algae. Uh, I don't care about healthy. I'm not drinking this stuff. <laughs> I mean, uh, anyway. Rancid carrot. Yes, that will get you some fuel. Algae based. Okay, rancid carrot, algae fuel. Building rockets, yep, that's me. Uh, yes she did. Eco fuel. Or green fuel. Zero carbon emission. You make drugs in your lab. <laughs> uh, Alright, hand it over. Let's uh, do the main thing here. Optimally efficient. We just need a huge container. I'm up for it. As long as it's not like using steam power with water or anything, you know. Algae barrel. Alright. So, we've got a challenge like this. Algae fuel. No big surprise here. Let's see how big the barrel is. Oh, it's not that big. It's only... Well, I mean, physically it's big, but... It's 80 kilograms. 86 kilograms, so... 250 meters. So, we don't really need to... Worry too much. What kind of fuel flow we're getting here? Are we getting here? Okay, so we'll need a pump. It's only 0.5 kilograms. That's how they want to limit it. Also, there's a high structural mass. So, you know what? We're gonna have two. We're gonna make it fancy. These wrap fins are actually heavier. <laughs> I mean, they're more than twice as heavy. It is all for looks right now. I guess we should have done all this a lot earlier. Okay, let's see if that works. Heavy as all heck. Ooh, that is a lot more get up and go than I thought. That compact engine, I swear. All right, uh, zoom. Somebody had talked about using the other cameras on some of the other flights. Um, uh, the cameras don't do what I want them to do a lot of the time. Like this view isn't as good as I would like, and this view sucks a lot of the time. So sometimes this is actually the best view. It's also the view that you know, in real rocket launches you'll often get, right? So, I know SpaceX has the onboard cameras and everything, but... Especially when the engines are lit, I like this, but... Uh, though they could work on the plumes in this game. Okay, well that's higher than I was trying to get. <laughs> I really tried to weigh it down. These parts are really heavy structural parts and everything. And I left some drag on the outside. Okay, I think we can just finish. We're not setting any records there. Viral tag, eco, sound barrier, jet fighter, stroll, barrel, definitely barrel. Okay, 2,000 new follows. We have to get to the next rank to get the museum revenue, so... 
I might not fulfill that particular task before getting to orbit. We'll see. It depends on how these uh, these wood missions go. Well, that's not the algae fuel we're looking for. Are you sure? Because we got pretty high. <laughs> um, actually, what's the complexity of the algae fuel? Hold on a sec. Well, what we really need is if the algae fuel is... It's only 14. So, like, if you could make a bigger tank with the algae fuel, that might be a little bit lighter. You could be in business. After all, the the efficiency of the rockets is completely dependent on the engine and not at all on the fuel in this game. Of course, in real life, it's all dependent on the fuel, or mostly dependent on the fuel, and not as much on the engine. But Although the engine is still important with the chamber pressure and everything. But... Jeez, you guys wanted me to go for 250 meters. I went, like, nearly 10 times that. No, wait, 100 times that? <laughs> uh, thanks for the support. So, so this, this, this is what the scrap dad was warning me about, I guess. This kind of attitude. Well, uh, yeah, I'll definitely ask her for a better version of the algae fuel. At least I got paid. Compliant, ooh. Uh, didn't work at all. Uh, that's not true, though! Do you have anything better? But, I mean, I guess we have to go like this in order to get the better fuel. You know, you have to... Needle them a bit. Please give it to me before I get the Wrath of Rosewood again. <laughs> yes. Perform even worse than the previous one, or explode. Anything is better than an angry Rosewood. <laughs> Experimental biofuel. I always wear safety goggles. I think I'm underestimating the biofuel. Uh, we shouldn't talk to each other like that. Green and mean. One kilometer. I don't even need it to reach one kilometer. These clearly were supposed to be done much earlier in our next Space Rebels career. Before we got the compact engine. I just need to edit this one. So, the question is what kind of tank we've got here. Um, well, it's a more efficient tank in terms of... Uh, okay, so it's got really, really, really high fuel flow. Which is a problem. But at least we're very, very structurally sound, right? 73. Not really. What's the most structurally sound... I think they were trying to guarantee that we would break apart. Well, what we can do is just have a really weak engine down here. We're gonna have the scrap engine. <laughs> uh, that might not be enough to do the trick to counteract the uh, high fuel flow. High fuel flow will be given to an engine that has very low efficiency, which should produce very low thrust. Um, but that might hurt our ability to get to one kilometer, we'll see. Okay. I think this was a plot to try and get us to explode, but... We will try to avoid that. Whoa! Oh, they cheated! Oh, continue. Apparently... Am I okay? Wow, I, I crashed the game to the menu. I mean, I didn't really crash the game. Just got back from the hospital. Man, that's cheating. We wouldn't have done that. Rosewood kind of pressured me. I, well, no, I was careless, I guess. Uh, Rockets aren't stupid. <laughs> I am. No, um... Okay, uh, I guess that's the end of the Rosewood thing, or... I guess so. Let's sort of 
unceremonious. I but I didn't get the the achievement. So maybe I did the wrong thing to go through their quest. I mean, maybe I made a misstep with the way I handled the algae fuel. Hmm. Now let's get another tag. Network. Well, maybe that involves oh, just five different connection parts. Okay. Since we blew up with uh, algae fuel, let's try this. Um, if that's the only way. Well, I don't have any more challenges, apparently. Uh, Rose, Rose pays me. You don't. Okay, well, I mean, that was why I picked Rosewood in the first place. Okay, so, uh, I think we've exhausted everything, but I didn't get the completion of the quest line with Rosewood, so... Probably did something wrong. Anyway, well, I guess there is replayability after all, so I'm just going to go ahead with the satellite launch, I think. Unless uh, somebody mentioned maybe like comments on videos, but uh, there's a uh, yeah, there's some blue line ones that indicate that there's something we can talk, somebody we can talk to. Bombi, yes, that's less dangerous than our previous launch. Uh, a better rocket? Explosives. Sounds dangerous. Well, if they got cheat on me and make me explode anyway, we might as well go with the actual explosives. That'll really piss Sama off, but I don't like Sama anyway. Okay, let's see if we die. I mean, we might as well get through everything we can. 10 meters. I mean, is there even any challenge here? Well, while we're using a firecracker, we might as well use more than one firecracker. Shoot. And let's stage the triggers after 1.5 seconds. Okay, maybe we'll get to... Well, we should put a nose cone and everything. Just for show. Maybe we'll get to 10 meters. I don't know. I don't know what these things do. Do not try this at home, kids. Hmm. It might have been too heavy. Okay. Let's try that. Back to basics. Yes! See? Perfect. Probably overdoing it again. Uncommon? Whatever. Uh, lightweight explosion looping fireworks. That didn't get many follows. Hey, you need to give me better explosives. Ah, Rosewood wants to talk. Maybe we can continue that. Uh, alright. Uh, I'm not gonna do the all caps thing. Okay. Why is he crying? Uh, long time no see, Sid. You love the pool. So sorry to hear that, Sid. Um, I'm always building rockets anyway. That's true. Pool parts. Okay, suddenly we're getting a lot of challenges. Oh, look who comes talking now. That's what I want to say. Can you pay my hospital bills? Uh, shouldn't be too hard on yourself. Disbanding wood base? No! Give me money. <laughs> okay, that's what that's what I want to know. Okay, so we got the achievement for uh, wood based. All right, so we did do that. All right, we just had to wait a little bit longer. Okay, in another life, jeez. Gosh, so dramatic. All right. Uh, I don't really want to do the bomby ones. Is there an achievement for that? <laughs> I never wanted achievements before. Because we know we've we know we can do the 
orbital one. We already know that, so that's not a surprise, unless it throws me a curveball at some point. Uh, watch the language game. I, I really don't like where it's going with that stuff. I don't actually see an achievement for this. So, um, at least the pool thing is interesting. Let me see what the pool parts are like. Yeah, just strapping a whole bunch of fireworks together isn't that interesting. These are the pool parts? I guess? Now well, let's see. Dome nose... Sounds fair. Round tube large. Round tube. I don't know about the bins. Um, I think that only we can only use parts from here. I don't know if any of these works as a fin, though. Oh, no, it's, uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Four kilometers is a great height to reach without fins. Let's see what we've got here. Cool. Oh, that's big. You know, maybe this is stuff that we've been looking for, though. Uh, it's really heavy, though. Do you suppose it'll still explode if I use this again? Probably. This is just the right size for the this algae tank, though. I made a mistake. We need different parts. Well, alright. Half tube. Skewed tube. Slide end. I don't know if these slide... Uh, no, half tubes are aerodynamic or not, but... Skewed tube. For to skew this way since we've got that one skewing that way. Alright, now we've got it. Okay, I think this can do four kilometers, but the aerodynamics... Actually, it's... Uh, it looks like that dome is very effective. Yeah, it's very structurally sound and everything. It's just heavy. Actually, which is worse, this or the retro one? Retro one is heavier. And smaller. So actually, this dome is better than the retro nose cone. This finned nose. So, worth worth noting. I have no idea... Okay, these are not very aerodynamically good parts. Now it's all aerodynamically happy, amazingly enough. Okay, build. Spend a lot of money on these pool parts. Okay, launch. No, it's going up. It's amazingly stable. And four kilometers will be fine. It's actually pretty fancy looking. Alright, yep. I'm not gonna belabor it. We'll uh, take what we can get. Too cool for pool. Pool. Tropical paradise. Fiberglass. Plain. Broken nose. Okay. I hope Sid's happy. Pool parts. Oh, now we've got other people. Gosh, I, I missed a whole other branch of stuff, apparently. Sid inspired me. Yep. Ah, uh, he is. As a tribute to you and the pool, we've made custom variants. Copied my pool parts and are selling those? Uh, well, it might be useful. Probably not, though. Okay, well, let's see what we've got here. Aggressive wing! Now we're talking. Neutral wing, passive wing. Where were you guys when I needed you a long time ago? I like big tubes, you know. But again, do I need these things? Absolutely not. Half stand. I, I don't see the point in that just yet. 
Okay, let's see what the properties of these things are. Still wonder why we got these weird things and you couldn't sort these by date game oh there's another blue line one here I guess we should look at that rabbit x carrot well just avoid rancid, rancid carrot um, more toys apparently nine you shouldn't be online stuffed elephant okay now Sid talks to us about the toys. You haven't talked to me about the pool yet. Mikado stick. Hmm, play bowling? No. The car is sort of boring. Freestyle something. What kind of challenge do we... Freestyle toy build. Seven different parts. Don't use any part more than once. 50 meters. Okay. Um, this was not the one that we ultimately used to get to orbit. So yes, this is... This has the connector, the gate. Yeah, this is the orbital one. So let's take a look at how the new pool parts... ...stack up. So th they, they would do a good replacement for those fins down there. They're, they're very light compared to the wood ones. Um, those are 2.1 apiece. The pool ones are lighter. Same drag situation. So, if we wanted to, this would be an improvement. Here we have a square adapter that has drag. The square nose doesn't have much drag though. I mean, it doesn't have any drag. It might be better than the dome nose here. Yeah, it's uh, the square one is lighter. Very structurally sound. So these are like if you really needed a lot of thrust. Um, the body parts are not that big compared to these tanks. So they're still not adequate to wrap around these tanks. This one, this round tube is close though, but still not quite there see. So those tanks will still stick out a little bit. If we were trying to put something completely into a body. Okay, anyway, this will be for later though. Let's see where these toys take us. Seven different parts from toy category. I mean, we've got overwhelming power now, so we can do anything. Let's just use the ones that we haven't used before. Cylinder block, okay. We'll put the ring pyramid on the nose of this, like it's a train that has some sort of spike on it. Well, the big booster just about fits. It doesn't say we can't add fins or anything, so we'll just toss in a fin block. There we go. Makes me feel better. There's gonna be a lot of drag. Let me try and even that out a little bit. But we've got a lot of thrust too. So 50 meters shouldn't be too bad. Let's see what happens. They gave us the toys. We should use them. And the big booster still doesn't make any sound. Everything's falling apart. Anyway, we did it. I guess we'll follow it down. It probably will make a little explosion with them breaking into pieces. Okay. Cute combo. It's abstract. It's art. Uh, the car? I guess ball the balls as wheels. Wait, car. I've really regressed, haven't I? Stay below ten meters. Reach a horizontal distance of twenty meters. Stay below. Jeez, I've I I haven't had to stay below 
Any altitude for a long time. Let's try the medium booster on a tilt. And go. Mm, we'll need more booster. So I guess they want me to be horizontal, huh? Uh, it's sort of like the wheelbarrow one. Uh, I was thinking wrong about this. I was thinking about launching it up and still managing it, but... Basically, you want to do this. Uh, still a bit high. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, we can do it. Maybe, maybe a little bit less booster. Oh, there we go. Uh, still too high. Okay, we'll need a smaller booster. So that's the right place to put them. Just need something different. Let's try just one of these, but that didn't seem to get us very far before. Lots the launch. Still doesn't get us very far. Let's get two of those. Okay, go. Oh, that's not quite the right angle. Okay, we are going to try this setup where this is going to be a retro booster since the twin booster is too strong and we'll see how that works. Okay, go. Ooh! Uh, I wasn't quite 20 meters. Uh, maybe a little bit more of an angle. I didn't get to finish double booster even. We'll have a lighter retro booster. I don't know if we need it. But I think we needed some sort of mass in front. Uh, see, that overperforms quite a lot. We really needed that additional mass. We just need to fine tune that mass in front. So the retro booster I was using before was 160 grams. This is only 22 grams. Uh, we need something that's about 100 grams. Then we'll look at a toy. Well, there's a toy block there, so we'll just put another toy block there. Won't have the retro booster. Go. Mm, that wasn't quite as good. Maybe it's the location of the center of mass that's the issue. Come on, 19, mm, 19, 19 meters. Well, we seem to be going in the right direction. Just need one more meter. Uh, there. See if that makes it better. Uh, not, now it goes all the way. Wow, that's a big difference. Huh? I just nudged it a little bit. Then it suddenly became super optimal. Okay, we got, we got it, we got it, we got it. Phew. All right, these toy challenges, I swear. Tiny house, playtime challenge, definitely toys boost. All right, we made a car. Got people wanting to talk to us. Happy Clown Children Tube. Uh-oh. Who are you? What are you talking about? This isn't Star Tube though. Uh Okay, I don't like this person. Dinosaurs, you like dinosaurs more. I I don't think I should continue with these toys, but I mean, all we have to do is like uh, launch that satellite. I think maybe I'll do s the other runs of this to pursue all that, but I don't know what you guys might think about whether I should 
just finish it up or not, but I think I should just finish it up, darn it. I want to see the cutscene. I've done it already. If I belabor this too much, it's just going to drive everybody crazy, I think. So, uh, maybe some other time there will be a speed run through and we'll take a look at the other branches. After all, there are many other things to do. We'll just do the, the toy thing some other way. I'll see if there's any more blue underlined things first, but I'm mainly here to pick up the orbital rocket and go. There is a blue underlined thing there. Hmm, fire, fire, fire. Yeah, I guess so. Pyro person. All the dangerous people are blue underlines. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> oh, great. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna... Uh, apparently, we're going full revolutionary on that one. So there are other things that we could be doing, but darn it, I build rockets, I don't launch toys. I mean, I do launch toys if they pay me to launch toys, I just don't do it pro bonum. Okay, so this was the one that actually worked, and we are going to replace these fins with the pool fins. Okay, without further ado, Let's get this sucker into orbit. Okay. Here we go. Launch. Very calm, sedate sort of thing. So that we don't put stress on anything, like having the satellite flop off randomly, you know. Okay, looking good. Passing through maximum dynamic pressure. I suppose I should get my vertical speed out. I guess we can use some of the other cameras. But... This one is sort of boring-ish. Okay, second set of tanks. And again, if we wanted to launch something heavier, we could probably decouple the tanks that are already spent here. It is as far as I can zoom out, by the way. Okay. Definitely going to 160 kilometers here. As the thrust weight ratio gets higher, it gets a little bit more cumbersome to control it, though. Well, there's the speed. Okay, that's the end of that. And we will now wait patiently. This is gonna be in orbit for quite a while, potentially. Height wise, pretty much spot on. Okay. It's doing the cutscene thing. And those fairings that got collided. <laughs> Ouch. Ah, uh, it's not good. Oh, it's been stabilized, sort of. No, it's just, it's completely random. Uh-oh. No, 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 you don't want to deploy the solar panels like that when you're that close to the rocket there. That's not good. Don't do that. Amateur satellite builders. Uh, make it go a little bit further out. Okay. Very nice. I will not interrupt it. I will not interrupt it. Okay, we are officially orbital. Okay, uh, Star Connect. Oh, it looks like, I guess he was forced to make the deal then. So, at some point I can try and play this so that we... Oh, my cursor doesn't work right now. Oh, okay, it's a, uh, they, that's not me controlling the cursor, that's them. Okay, so this is the Star Connect ad. Uh, uh, this, this pop-ups, this pop-ups, no! No! What have we done?
We have we have done the horrible thing. We should have made them more money and given them the money or something. Corporate. We've got achievement unlock corporate. So that's the end of the main thing. And we've got the credits. Or rather a more interesting game than I thought it was going to be. So, but yep, yeah, there's apparently some replayability. Yep. There's the working towards getting $300,000 so they don't have to do the deal with StarTube. Or getting the ultimate engine, but really... What's the point of the ultimate engine in the end? Ah, uh, the actors. Okay, I'm, I'm still not going to interrupt it, just in case, you know. I want my creative mode. Somebody had suggested in the comments to make basically a 2D Soyuz, and yeah, we'll try that once we get creative mode, but I don't think we had enough room in the... I mean, if we made a very thin sort of Soyuz, eh, I don't know. Definitely better in creative mode. Is it done? We have creative mode! Let's see. Um, well, the ultimate thing is whether we get the ultimate engine. So, what it looks like is, if we don't unlock the ultimate engine in the... in the story, we don't get it here either. So... I might have to replay it just to unlock the ultimate engine and some of the other parts that we didn't get to. I think that's the idea here. That we only get the parts that we unlock in the story mode. Uh, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong about that, but that's what I'm seeing here. I think... I think that's the plot. So, we have an incentive to do some of the other storylines, folks. I got the Molotov cocktail, but I think there's probably other things to do. Yeah. So, with that being the idea, we have uh, fulfilled one version of the storyline. And you guys can tell me, I, I, I want to play around with the creative mode in the next video. Uh, we might try to speedrun it at some later time to get some of the other parts. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.